Cape May Cafe at the Beach Club Resort in Walt Disney World is a character meal with a buffet breakfast, and we'll show you how we navigate our gluten-free, dairy-free diet while having the perfect start to a Disney day. Whether you're staying at the Beach Club with its New England seaside themes, or at the nearby Yacht Club or Boardwalk like us, or even further, it's fun to make your way to the Cape May Cafe for Minnie's Beach Bash Breakfast, an all-you-care-to-enjoy buffet. The atmosphere is so cute. I love all the pastels and the beach umbrellas and um, all the characters in their beach wear are just super duper cute. The only person we didn't see was Mickey. Um, it's My favorite. I know, but this is Minnie's beach party. It's Minnie and Daisy and Donald and Goofy. And it was really, really sweet. Why is there no doggy? Oh, you're right, no Pluto either. No. No Pluto. No Pluto and no Mickey. It was lovely. We did get there early and it was wide open, but very quickly it got very busy. They gave our family an autograph card signed by the characters with a cute beach postcard theme so we could focus our character interactions on getting those sweet photos and moments like this. Goofy. <laughs> oh! Okay. Oh, you're gonna give something to Goofy? If that melted your heart, give this video a like. If you're wondering if nine-year-olds are too big for character meals, they're not. Embrace the magic as long as you can. Now the three-year-old on the other hand started out hiding under the table, then worked up to a high five, and even had something to share. Good. Oh, she has ears on, just like Minnie, yeah. You just wanted to show, okay. The characters also stop and dance to a beach song that plays. So if posing for pictures isn't your thing, maybe you can be your favorite character's dancing buddy. But let's talk about the food. Since we are gluten and dairy free, we started out with the allergy guide and our server was happy to get us a chef or find answers to any questions we had. I started out with an almond milk cappuccino, it was strong, and these weren't Mickey waffles, this is Minnie's Beach Bash breakfast, so these waffles had bows. How was your breakfast? Good. What was the best part? The Minnie waffles. I got my almond milk cappuccino to go. Breakfast was really good. The, um, the buffet foods are kind of what you expect they're going to be. They are scrambled eggs and breakfast potatoes and they taste exactly like they always taste. So no disappointments, nothing done poorly, um, but nothing that knocked your socks off, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, we did ask for bread and got Bloomfield Farm rolls. We did ask for a blueberry muffin at the very end when we realized that was an option. They brought waffles on waffles on waffles. Although the allergy guide said that they were free of all the allergens listed um, including soy and they did confirm with me that they're using the golden malted waffle mix that is now being used uniformly across property that does have soy flour in it so I let them know they may want to update their allergy guide because there's an allergen in there um, but don't worry about the word malted there is no gluten in there uh, it's a trick <laughs> Nick did say that he went up front to get his uh, omelet made at the omelet station and he specified that they wanted them to be dairy free and while there's no dairy in the eggs or butter used in the pan or anything they did say that they didn't want to use the same pan that had been used to make cheese omelets so they got him a fresh pan so there are good allergy protocols in place over at the omelet station and if you're concerned about cross-contamination then just don't get things off the buffet and they will bring you things out from the back we did a little bit of a mix of both because we are not super sensitive to cross-contamination. It's a great breakfast. Thanks for coming along. We had a yummy breakfast, a blast meeting characters, and although we were tired from hitting the parks on this visit, we had to rally because later that day we embarked on our Royal Caribbean cruise on the wonder of the seas. 
Join us next time, travelers, to see our vacation part two.